is going on? Folon, chaotic, how you doing? Sloth, what's going on? How's everybody doing tonight? Doing good, man. Doing good. Just got everything situ situated, messed with OBS, got everything set up, and doing good. Yeah, it should be it should be fun tonight. A lot of good teams in here. Yeah, it's four games. Awesome. Yeah, super fun game. Hold on, how long are you going to play it? Definitely a learning curve, I'll say. I, I don't know. I mean, most games do have a learning curve, but this one I definitely feel like it's unique, you know? A lot of mechanics to it. Okay. Nice. Is that a little better? I don't want to have it too close where it's rubbing on the beard, you know? Nice, fellow on house contractors. Perfect. I'll try to keep it a little close. Yeah, we got some people coming. Yeah, I think the one thing that's always attracted me about contractors is all the different maps. Yeah, I, I, as, I, as much as I want to dive into it, I've just played Mop so long, and it's gotten to the point where it's all like, I feel like I was in the same spot when I left off. I don't know. I've always, I've always enjoyed that. Yeah, that game audio was loud. I had to back up. It's like that, though. In the viewer tool, like when you get close like that in the pregame lobby and people are just going nuts, it, it, gets, it gets loud like that. Here, what I'll do is I'll go down there. Maybe we'll lower game audio. Just like See what that does. Yeah, the viewer tool, man, it, it, it is. The game audio and the viewer tool is crazy. Especially when you have everybody practicing their DTs. <laughs> Geralt. Wow, been a minute since I've seen him. Six straight hero OG Wavez. Sometimes it's crazy to think how much the maps change. It's wild.
Volan, what what uh what guns you've been favoring in Pop One? I know usually everybody has one or two that they kinda revert to and it's like the go to. What's yours? AK's nice. Especially when you hit it like a little one hand. You know, get a little nasty head peek one hand, AK. Yeah, that's fun. AK used to be like it just too it like it back in the day before they nerfed it, the AK it all that's all you needed. Like it was long range, mid range, and short range. Like the recoil was pretty much non existent on like blue purple, especially gold. Oh man. It was nasty. They gave it a little bit more recoil a few months ago, but yeah, that thing was, was too much, too powerful. Yeah, for a long time. I got too comfortable with it. I was using the AK for a long time, and then they, they buffed it, gave it a little bit more recoil, changed the spray pattern on it. And it, it definitely, I mean, it's a great gun. I still pick it up whenever I see it, but it wasn't, it's not an all-in-one anymore. Oh, yeah. No, it's still a good, still a good gun to use. I know. I think the, the best AK player I know is, um, I think it's Caltrop. I think Caltrop is, it has to be, like, the best. He's one, he's one of those guys that you give him like a two-star AK and above, and it's just endless. I think there's one other I'm trying to think of. That is loud, uh, jeez. Even when it's turned down. Yeah, he doesn't play comp. You know, there is there's like a handful of OGs in Pop One that never got into the comp and they just kind of pub stomp all day. Um, yeah, Caltrop's one of them. I, I mean, I think I may be in a couple tournaments here or there, like a duos, mixed duos, something like that. I think I've seen them, but nothing. No squad in comp. But man, you go into a public lobby, or I don't know if you have him on your friends list. He's always on, always, or it feels like it whenever I hop on. Plays a lot. And he changes his name a lot. So, he's not always Caltrop. Very rarely will you see him as Caltrop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's how it is, man. He's crazy. He gets the right gun. Like, if he gets... Just like that AK or something he needs, it's pretty much game over. I mean, I've played, I've run, I've had a few like you know, two, three hour sessions with him, and every time he'll literally tell me, he's like, "Hey, give me a two star AK or up, and we're good." And he's he's telling the truth. Like, I'll find one, and I'll I'll toss it to him just because obviously that's what he's asking for. And every time, never fails. I mean, it's probably like a 80, 90 percent win rate. Just buying soy sauce name right here, B, this guy. This has been drawing my attention the entire time. I love that name. I don't know why. I don't really see names that draw my attention. Like that. That, one's, that one's funny. I don't know why. <laughs> Loading in. Almost there. Looks like TKO just got here. Well, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I don't have like the team player list in front of me because it's not laid out like normal. 
Um, but isn't Geralt see Havoc? Like, in the meantime, what do you mean? Like, what teams are in the game or what players are in the game? players are in the end. Yeah. Well, you, once we go into full screen mode, we're just kind of in between right now showing the scoreboard waiting for the game to start. So once we go in, you'll be able to see all the player names. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Gerald C, he was in here early. He's in here now. Who did you tell us was on the scene? Hyena Dragon Peanuts, yep, there he is. Hyena Dragon. I don't see Peanuts yet, but... Oh, Moisty's here. Nice. Is that what it's showing as, Ryan? Honestly, man, when it comes to that, like the source settings on like video quality, I don't even know how to get that to 1080. I know I have the capability, but I haven't even messed with it. Chaotic, what team is six string and moisty on? I've been thinking about it for the past couple of six string. That's right, cosmic cortex. Man, it's been a while since I've I've, I've said that name. They've been around since the beginning of COD, but I haven't shoutcast it in a little bit. Poppy put SAO in his name. Yeah, I would stay zoomed in so you guys can see all those names, but it's just too loud. Yeah, it should be any minute now. It should be sharding. I think he's just, it's the 10 minute mark is usually when they get it going. Looks like we're starting. All right, what do 
we got wow vip going for the hot drive looks like two of them are still stuck on the platform though are we lagged out no i think i think they're good i think quickie's just late to the headset oh no quickie out all right, looks like VIP down a member. One drop and one going for the pod. Interesting. There you go. You got Team F going Kingdom. I have a little fight over here in a second with Observatory Kingdom. There you go. Cosmic Vortex going Outpost. Well, I don't think they have a third. I was going to say, I didn't see a third in the pregame lobby. Maybe that's what some of the holdup was. We had to move on. There you go. Cosmic Vortex. Outpost. TKO going Cemetery. Here we go. Havoc going Complex. And then who grabs Summit? Supply TNT. drop deploying at the Frontier. A little bit more spread out this round. Do have three teams over here in this corner. Let's go follow Moose to see if he runs into him. Mighty Brooks sees him. I think he's scoping him out. Does Brooks know? Oh, he knows. He sees six string. Oh, man. This is going to be tough for Cosmic Vortex. They're going to get pinched here between two teams quick. As soon as TKO hears them shoot, they're going to rush over now to third parties. Both of these teams are down a member, though, so this isn't even 2v2. Okay, gotcha. So Soy Sauce's team was Banana Man. That's all I remember then. <laughs> like I said, that name was just... All right, there we go. I think Six Strings got the right idea. Go ahead and rotate towards the zone. If they move quick enough, they could cut off VIP before they get in there. All right, let's go check on Banana Man. All right, still over here in the summit area, it looks like. go they both went their separate ways no fight there but they are going to have TKO over here and TKO still has to make their way in the zone Oh, here we go. Havoc coming up on Banana Man. Geralt's a little bit far ahead. I don't think Banana Man hears him yet, though. They do hear those gunshots behind, though, coming from Frontier. Wonder if they'll push that. Authorized Assassins. All right, got it. Usually, usually after the first game, I can pretty much remember on the spot. Battle zone shrinking in. 60 seconds. Some of these teams are a little new for me, though, such as Banana Man. See, Authorized Assassin's not pushing over, though. 
I don't blame them at this point. They've got zone, got a whole corner, hide on most of the map. Thanks. I'll do shit down there. Definitely need that. There we go. Havoc starting the fight. Oh, there you go. Authorized Assassins pushing in quick. They heard that fighting in one of a piece. Wow. And we have Cosmic Vortex coming down from below. We're going to have four teams here in just about 10 seconds. Oh, there you go. Hyena, first kill of the game. Zombie down. And Banana Man down to one player. Tiger Claw. Looks like Hyena has him pinned. He's going to go down there and finish him off. That's right. Havoc was aggressive there. Went right for the push. Worked out for him, though. And there you go. Banana Man eliminated. First team out. Here we go. We've got TKO pushing up the hill. Looks like Authorized Assassins step back to zone a little bit. Going to try to hold Havoc in. Let's see if they can do it. Havoc is looking deadly so far. Yo Poppy is known for the odd. That's his gun of choice. Wow, look at TKO. It's going to be dangerous for him. Oh, Geralt's trying to go around. Wow, and he takes out Tomasi. And Havoc just racking in the kills. All right. You don't see girls too often. Oh, no. Hyena Dragon goes out. Looks like Fusion's getting that kill. Yo, Wabez on the 1v3. It looks like Geralt's trying to rotate back around, go the opposite direction. I think he ran into TKO over there. He knew he didn't have a chance. It's going to be tough for him, though. Maybe he can snag a kill or two before he goes out. Just like that, Havoc, second team eliminated. They did go out with some points, though. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen Geralt's. Wow, so good job to authorize assassins for grabbing zone, holding Havoc in, and finishing that squad. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, for that first fight there, they pounced on it quick. They were landing all their shots, and they eliminated Banana Man fast. So they're looking good so far tonight, just because they got eliminated early in game one. What's up, Galaxy? How you doing? All right, here we go. TKO a little slow to the zone, and it looks like they're getting tangled up between a couple teams here. Moisty, last one alive for Cosmic Vortex. And King Snow, last one for TKO. There you go. Moisty getting the kill and the extra placement points there, taking out TKO. And the duo is still living. So we've got VIP end zone trying to bully out two teams right now. They got a th authorized assassins pushing in on the right. And Moisty and Six String alive, taking down Fusing. Man. That's our duo. Let's not forget with VIP. Two duos. Wow, Moisty pushing quick. Look at this. 
There you go, that harmonica. You need that in comp. Prime example of it. Oh no, Flip farming them over there. Leyland out, authorized assassins eliminated. Wow, and look at this. The last two teams left in this game are the two teams that ran as a duo this game. That shows a lot since these last four players left. Yeah, that was insane. Moisty, last one alive. Able to get the res, finish off fusing. And now it looks like they're going to go ahead and take out VIP. Just moving as a unit. Look at them. Battle as soon as Six started getting fired, Moisty came. There you go. They'll push Silo together. Look at that, always covering each other. You saw that? Six string jumped down, Moisty immediately covered. And VIP eliminated. Cosmic Vortex taking the dub for game one. Good stuff. Yeah, that's that's great teamwork right there. Wow. Man, I, lo I love to see the underdogs pulling through. Starting a man short and still taking the dub. Good for them. So I'll hit refresh again when we get more of these scores in. But it looks like TKO and Authorized Assassin have their scores in. Good first game, though. So you'll see that looking for a game to capture in between games. When it comes to Population 1, uh, the Shoutcast tool has to be reset in between each match. And that's because if not, we won't be able to see the correct team letters and we won't be able to see health bars as well which is something I know you guys want to see in a comp match. Let's get a refresh on our scores, see which ones we got loaded in. All right, wow. Cosmic Vortex, the duo, pushing out 26 points. Sheesh. Good for them. Love to see it. Yeah, so I think the only team, you no, know, every team showed up, right? I saw TKO, I saw Authorized, Cosmic, Nana Man. Or did Double Tap? I forget which one's VIP. Pap, what's going on? How you doing? Trifecta's VIP. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. And then double tap, I guess, didn't show. Yeah, I didn't want to click on it just because that window that has it pulled up is I'm sharing it for the scores. So I don't want to click on it and kind of throw everything off. If I hit refresh, I know I can scroll all the way to the bottom and it'll be lined up. 
because I lined it up when it was cold all the way down. <laughs> Ah, okay, gotcha. Well, then maybe we'll have game one sports in by the time we get back to game two. Uh, but I'll go ahead and load us back in the game as soon as the draft is started. So, Pap, we just finished game one. Uh, we've got three more games left. Yeah, we've got six teams in here. That last game, there were six teams. Two of the teams were a duo, and one of the duos won. So that's always fun to see. Yeah, that, that always makes it fun. And the crazy part is even crazier. The last two teams left were the two duo teams. I uh, appreciate you, Chaotic. VIP. So I see Ghosty in here. I see Mighty Brooks. Where's the other VIP? But I don't see Cosmos third either. So it looks like they're still going to be running as a duo as well. Flip side, I see flip side. You saying, Pap, you saying if there's any EU teams in here? Um, if so, I don't think so, no. Ah, oh, there we go, let's get into the game. We'll go ahead and refresh after this game, see if this is All right, see if we have a team go for the hot drop. And there you go, VIP and Havoc going for the hot drop. Wow, but VIP has a third this time, so they aren't running as a duo no more. Wow, Hyena pushing right away, wasting no time. Let's see, VIP or Havoc, who's taking the dub here? Oh, and look at that. Cosmic Vortex, the duo, not too far in the back over Observatory. This will be a fun one. I think Havoc's going to have a comeback game here. But we'll see. VIP's at full strength, and they made it to the final two without the third. So, got a lot of faith in them as well. going on Johan how you doing supply drop deploying to the tower oh man wow that's shredded got caught out in the open Mighty Brooks is doing. He's been looting over there for a minute. I thought he was going to go for the flank and start shooting. Oh, man. Not quick enough. 
Look at that. Cosmic Vortex, the duo, pushing in on a third party while they hold height. That's crazy. That's brave. But they did take the dub. They moved good. Oh, man, they're going to come up on Mighty quick. Yeah, I figured that would be a little dangerous. Ah! Well done. I honestly thought he was going to take six string with him before he went. But he was moving Madison smooth. Is now shrinking. And VIP down a member. Looks like they're going to push back. Grab that res. And I don't think Havoc is aware of Cosmic's location. Obviously, they're aware someone's over there, but not sure where they're at. Let's go check on everybody else. See if we got our names down. All right, so this one's easy. Appreciate you guys putting in your name. TKO over here in Metro. Banana Man. That's right, over here in Complex. And Assassins over here in Cemetery. I know there's a word before that. It starts with an A, and I'm forgetting what it is. So we're going to go with Assassins. Oh, here we go. Cosmic Vortex over here by VIP. And it looks like Havoc's going to push back over. I don't know. I'm not sure. I haven't seen him in any of my lobbies. VIP backing off from that. Looks like they're going to go for the rotate. And I love this teamwork for Cosmic. Moisty and Six Tree. They've been playing together for a long time, though. I mean, they've both been playing the game individually together for a long Battle time. Zone shrinking I mean, in. as a unit, 60 seconds. have always been playing like that. There you go. TK. Oh, taking shots at Banana Man. Banner Man was the first team to go out last game, so they've got a little redemption to do here. <laughs> Azzy chaotic. Right, so it looks like VIP here's this fight. It looks like they're pushing in for some of that. Alright, so we got a few teams pushing in here. I'll tell you what, our duo is still holding on strong though. They are running away from Havoc, or they just got done with that fight. It looks like they're going to run in to the assassins here. Wonder if we'll get a hot drop tonight. Cough, cough. This will be an entrancey end zone. Interesting end zone. They always are when it happens in planes. Ooh. Man, TKO has been blasting that up pretty much since the first bullet was fired this game. Yeah, that's the setup we always talk about. One or two often with a third on the harmonica. It's endless. You can peek what you want, take whatever damage. Harmonica earns it back. Oh, no. Flip side caught by himself in construction. And Fusing takes him out. There you go. Assassin's putting a kill on the board. Oh, is six string going for that hot drop or the pin drop? Uh oh. Battle 
Kill zone shrinking in. 60 seconds. Yeah. Ryan, not a bad move. <laughs> Honestly, not. Ah, uh, yo, Poppy's focus on six string now. It's gonna be tough for him to get down from there. Yeah, there you go. Just like that. Six string out. Let's see if Moisty can get away and get that res. Ah, uh, they're pushing in quick. Maybe VIP can distract him and give Moisty a chance to bounce out. Let's see. Ah, uh, he got caught in the zone. They know he's there. Wow, Poppy going in the zone for that. All right, he's bouncing back out. Man, I was hoping VIP would stay in tower there. Get him distracted a little bit. It looks like Moisty wasn't lucky enough. All right, here we go. Havoc fighting TKO. It looks like they're about to take him out. Is now shrinking. Oh, wow. Moisty taking out Mighty Brooks. Oh, and Havoc finishes out TKO on the other side of the map. Wow, there you go. VIP eliminated. Looks like Assassin's got a piece of that. But so did Cosmic Vortex. Yeah, literally. Climb tower, right? That's the. It's kind of the move right now. Is tower still in zone? I think we have a slice of tower still in zone up top. We do. Come on, Moisty. Give the people what they want. You all know what we're thinking right now. Oh, no, they're heard by Yo Poppy. He's pushing in. Yo Poppy's going to be aggressive at this point. Oh, no. Healing up at the wrong time, and Cosmic Vortex eliminated. There you go. Assassin's taking that kill. Coming out of tower. So it looks like two, uh, three teams left. So we've got Banana Man trickier. down here in the corner. Assassin's seconds. over there in tower, and Havoc out here in the open. Yeah, honestly, still impressive from the duo. Because this game, they actually are the only duo squad in here. VIP was at full strength. So we saw Banana Man go out early last game, and it looks like they're camping over here in the corner. Not a bad idea to make up for some of those placement points. But you will need some kills paired with that in order to climb the leaderboard. Wow, Assassin's probably grabbing the best spot in zone. It's always interesting when the end zone gets in on construction and you have teams on multiple levels. It, it gets fun. Swahamia, what's going on? How you doing? Nice to see you. Hope your night's going well. Yeah, I know. Imagine them with a third that was, like, in the same rhythm as them. Oh, man. Here we go. Banana Man going for the rotate. Soy sauce cut out the road. Just like that. Banana Man eliminated. And here we go. Havoc looking to find their way into zone. I think their best chance is going to be getting in the truck. There you go. There you go. Is Poppy trying to op him that close? Poppy trying to make a TikTok out here? What's he doing? Oh no, and Geralt's taken out. Wabez, last one alive for Havoc. Yeah, Poppy was memeing there. He was trying to quit scope. And he's up. Looks like Poppy's going to get his loot. I don't know, Wabez has a cheeky head peek right here. But then again, it's a 1v3. Uh, Poppy pushing in, fusing on the other side. This is going to be it for Wabez. But he does take out Poppy before he goes. Always pay for yourself. Assassin's taking the dub. Good fight from them. All right, see if we can refresh the scoreboard, see if we have more. Scores loaded in. So 
it looks like some of them. I'm not sure if we just don't have the points from the other teams or if there's an issue um, with the page right now. But I'll keep refreshing, keep you guys up to date with what we have. Wow, vape was live earlier? What? It's more rare than a solar eclipse. What did I miss? I have no notifications for Twitch, so I missed that one. Oh, he's already in Thailand. I know he was going. Is that already here? Man, I remember him just announcing that. Like, That's crazy how quick time goes. I mean, this game's been out, wasn't it? Last month was two years of this game being out, right? If I'm mistaken, let me know. But I think it's two years last month. Because it came out like on October 25th or something. Wow. That's crazy, man. Mm. Mm. Didn't know it was the good times until the good times were over, man. That's That burns. Two years. This game's changed so much. So it looks like TKO, Cosmic, and Authorized are the only ones getting scores in right now. But there you go. Assassins grabbing first place and nine kills. Good for them. It's so different. There's probably only a few people that know there was two complexes. 76 and 33, right? Am I right? I think it's 76, Oh, here's Bruh. Bruh's joining Cosmic Vortex, right? I think so. Let's see if they put him on Team D. Yeah, he's with Vortex. I thought so. See, that's their, That's one of their OG thirds. That's what I was talking about. Another third that's in tune with him. Bruh's that guy. That's him. It's exactly who I was describing. Let's see how it does. He came in about halfway through. Still time to do good. Yeah, this could get ugly. This is going to be nice. A few teams here looking to show out. Assassin's taking that last dub. The Cosmic Vortex taking the one before. All right, let's get into the game. Looks like we're only getting scores for three teams right now. If we get more, I will keep you guys updated. And there we go. VIP going for the hot drop for the third time in a row. And so is Bruh. I wonder if Moisty and Six String are going to go for the short pod. Yeah, they are. They're going observatory. And VIP is already pushing in. Oh, man. 
Moisty and Six String are together though, which is good news. That's what we want to see. Let's see if Six String can get healed up, get something quick, provide some cover fire. Yeah, the Banana Man. I'll show you the Banana Man after this fight. I'll show you their squad. Oh, uh, flip side taken down, caught between Cosmic Vortex. And look at that, that's deadly. Vortex had that third on the other side. That's why they won that kill there. All right, so this these are our banana men right here. Just buying Soy Sauce, Tiger Claw, and Zombie Magikarp. Some pretty cool usernames, Soy Sauce, my personal favorite. Love to see it. And here we go, TKO going Metropolis. Authorized Assassins taking Complex. And that Supply is our team coming off planes. a fresh dub. Oh, I skipped one team. Sorry. Havoc back here. And Foothills. Wow, VIP backed off that push quick. It's Banana Man, isn't it, too? I've been saying Banana Man, like singular. God. I think I skipped grade school. All right, here we go. TKO. And authorized assassins fighting. Let's see if Brady Slayer can catch up, give his teammates some help, because it is a 2v3 right now. Oh, Mossy with a nice angle on him. Fusing. Shredded. Oh, he's going to push down on that. That's dangerous. Pushing in on a building in a 1v3. See, this is where it gets tough. He would have held that roof. Just like that, eliminated. Battle zone is now shrinking. Wow, Yo Poppy moving underneath him. Look at that. Going right past King Snow. Where'd you see Mountain do it? Whoa. <laughs> What's say? <laughs> Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire. <laughs> you think I'm bad? You should hear the wife. Just but yeah, just get that sauce. Put that on my steaks. Worcestershire. I feel like I'm adding too many sh 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 in there, you know what I mean? Alright, here we go. TKO back at a res. Taking down Fusing, though. Oh, it just got turned around. Did the game just. Alright, here we go. Cosmic Vortex chasing VIP all the way to Cemetery. Wow, definitely have the upper hand there. <laughs> now, I know we're all questioning ourselves. But how many of you said Worcestershire? That should be someone's team name. And comp. Give the shoutcaster a fun time. Oh man, VIP fighting back quick. Look how grouped up Cosmic Vortex is though. Okay, TKO and Assassin straight kills over here. Man, it keeps skipping around. Apologies. All right, it's a 2v2. Yo, Poppy is going to play a little bit more aggressive here from what we've seen in the past. Leyland grabbing the res there, so that's all. All right, there you go. Assassin's Battles back in full strength. In 60 seconds. Yo, Poppy pushing in on Brady Slayer. You see it? Right there. Just goes. Yeah, don't give them any ideas for real. Someone's going to do it. Wow, looks like TKO has the upper hand here. They're holding assassins to the zone. Leyland might be their only chance here just because the Opapi and Fusing are right in front of them. It's going to be tough, especially when you're on the edge of Metro right there. I wonder if you can get down below and this is in zone. No, it's out of zone. Look at that. Just out of zone, barely. Yeah, that's tough. That was just bound to happen for Poppy and Fusing. Hopefully, Leyland can go for the wide rotate here. Maybe get in towards construction. Well, Cosmic Vortex heard that fight, and they pushed over to TKO. 
You gotta move as a unit when you're going up against this squad. I mean, VIP held him off, backed him off, but that's because they were all focused on him at the same time. Wow, even Leyland was glitching around. I think it was just his lobby game, because that's what I does when I'm moving. Wow, this is going to be a little helpful for Assassin. Give him some time to move in. I'm not sure if Vortex knows that Assassins are back there, though. So I wonder if they'll dip away when they kill TKO. There you go. Brady Slayer down. King Snow, last one alive for TKO. And Assassins is just feet behind trying to keep up. Poppy going to the zone. All right, here we go. VIP running into Havoc. Look at the banana man! Someone did it! <laughs> Look at him. Yes, I love it. I love everything about it. <laughs> Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a pin drop tonight. Get your popcorn. Oh wow, TKO getting eliminated. And I think, man, everyone's starting to glitch around. wonder what's going to happen here. Everyone's glitch. I think it's going to crash. It better not crash on the pin drop. Yo, Poppy, last one alive for assassins. I, he's going to have to find some health items quick. And I don't think he will. Oh, you guys saw that? Look at that. Going down to one. And getting the res off and the heals. Sheesh. Battle zone shrinking in. 60 seconds. <laughs> oh, look at the pin droppers. I'll be sure we, we get that pin drop from jump to landing. No one knows they're up there either. I think VIP and Vortex are going to be way too distracted with one another to just even look up. No one's thinking that. Wow, Assassins, look at them getting those heals, making their way into zone. But the issue is, I mean, if this corner of zone would be touching that building, I'd give them a better chance. But they just don't have anywhere to go. And unless they grab that tower, it looks like they're going to have some opportunity. They could grab this tower right here. Let's see if Yo Poppy can make it. Oh, he's going for the res. I wonder if they're just going to go for the placement, stay in that building. Take the cover and just go for the reses. Is now shrinking. Oh, here they go. Fusing, making his way in. He's going to get into zone two. Are there heals in tower? Let's check. Sako, shield. Oh, and they got the harmonica and a banana. Look at that. Look at that. The harmonica giving them all full shield. Oh, I'm telling you, man. People underestimate that harmonica. That's a prime example of when you need to have it. Great rotation from Assassins. Honestly. Great rotation. Oh, VIP hears him. Oh, Leyland shredded quick. Flipside trying to single-handedly do it. Oh, here we go. He's got some backup. Oh, pin drop. I almost forgot for a second. Looked up. Woohoo! Almost forgot. Alright, VIP looks like they're going to take that elimination on oh no vortex sees him Two squads remaining. oh man not the pin drop we wanted to see that was kind of that was that was a little bit of a let down cosmic vortex ruining the fun go ahead and blame him next time you see him in lobby blame him say thanks <laughs> they all started shredding them quick. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, you're right. Last game when that tower was pretty much hanging into zone, it was this size. 
imagine? I mean, look how far they built out. Look at these guys. That's probably what gave them away. All right, here we go. We've got Havoc, VIP, and Vortex. Three great teams. Like and Geralt on top of that. Let's see what he can do. Six string going down to Mighty. And then Moisty there for the backup, just like we've been seeing all night. And he's going to be able to get his stuff. Love this game. Yeah, probably. Yeah, we don't get one Friday out right. You have to speak it into it. Just like we did. Technically, we got what we wanted. It was just a lame. Oh, no. Brought taking out Geraltie. Pushing up there and taking him down. Good for them. Look at this. Six string and Moisey pushing on Wabez. But VIP coming in for that third party. And it looks like they're redirect, refocusing on VIP. Moisty taking down Mighty. And Flip going to the zone. Ghosty goes to the zone. And VIP eliminated. Down to Cosmic Vortex and Havoc. Is Moisty going for the rest? Yeah, there you go on six string. Ruz got the height. Wabez eliminated. Hyena Dragon, last one alive. I imagine they're all three. Gonna pounce or. What are we, what are we doing here? And there you go. Hyena Dragon eliminated. Cosmic Vortex, just like we expected, with that third in the same rhythm as them. Absolutely dominating. Yeah, that was good. All three of those teams right there at the end. That was great. Look at this. Look at that. It's insane. All right, let's get scoreboard refreshed, see what scores we got in there. There does seem to be some kind of issue with the scoring, so we apologize for not having all those in there. Wow. Wow. TKO, six plays, six kills. Wow, that's crazy. I didn't know we had that many kills before the first squad was eliminated. There's only six squads in here. Wow, good for them. Right, and that was game three, so we're heading into our last game here. Hopefully we can get the final scores in at the end. I don't think it's going to happen, but hopefully we do so we can see who the winner is. Yep, four games. Yep, this is four games. This is the preseason, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Nope, that was game three. So we still got game four coming up. Yep, this is preseason. I thought so. I said that, and I'm like, I'm 90% sure. Sheesh. Pat, that's insane. The man himself. Gosh. You are Himothy. You are. All right, let's go ahead and get into the game here. Heading into our last game. Let's see. Let's see. VIP going for the hot drop again. That is what we expect. And Bra going for the hot drop again. Wow, Moisty and Six String a little quicker with him, though. This time, we're going to have a fight quick. Look at this. Hopefully, Ghosty can provide some cover on him from the sign. Here we go. VIP and Vortex swapping. Moisty and Mighty eliminated. Six String out. 
Bro, last one alive for Cosmic Vortex. Our team coming off of a dub in the final game. And VIP taking him out. Wow. God. Gets the people going. Let's go. Wow. VIP making a stance. Now, now I really want to see the final score tonight. But... If not, if we don't see it on the stream here tonight, keep an eye on the Discord. I'm sure those final scores will be posted there. T quick. Too quick. That was too quick. They pounced right, though. I mean, honestly, those two, Mighty and Flip, had the right idea of pushing all the way to the right. Because they're pushing left, and everybody knows that the left side will get that first if you push quick enough. And then Ghosty had that cover fire. That was clean. Yeah, that was clean. All right, TKO pushing in. Brady a little bit behind. Not sure if they'll have a firefight here soon. All right, here we go. So Banana Man over here in Observatory. And then we've got Assassins back here in Kingdom. Where is their third? Did Assassin's third drop out? It was Leyland Fusing and Yo Poppy. Where's Yo Poppy at? All right, maybe we lost Yo Poppy. Yeah, his assets are dope. All right, here we go. Madison Havoc going Frontier. I don't know, man. I think this is VIP's game. They've been getting there every single game. I just don't think they've gotten there, you know, first place yet. But I think this is it. I think this is the game. Here we go. VIP, TKO, just like we expected. Brady's still a tad behind. There you go. King Snow eliminated. Flip hanging on. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Yo Poppy. I don't know. Tomasi. That's probably a good move for him. Back up, maybe rotate into Summit, go down the foothills without running into Havoc because that's deadly, deadly news. VIP just bullying every team they've come into this game. All right, so Assassin's playing as a duo this game. We're missing Banana, banana Man. No, no, Banana Man are over here. My apologies. We're hiding over there. Oh, wow. Flipside going down to King Snow. Let's see if we can get Flipside up quick. Maybe VIP could just go ahead and grab zone, hold him in. Might be the best option for him. Wow, Brady Slayer. Is he going to go for the pin drop on him? That's a good way to support your teammates on the ground. Look at that. Let's see. Let's see. Come on, Brady. Give the people what they want. So Mighty Brooks taking down Mossy. Looks like VIP is going to get the red on flip side. So TKO has two members on the ground. Both just eliminated. Their third is at the top of tower. Look at him. Looks like a lost puppy. All right, here we go. Havoc making their way into Kingdom. And it looks like the duo is still holding down Kingdom. Don't blame them. They've got end zone there now. I feel like this zone this game moved quick. Maybe it's just been a lot going on this game. <laughs> it's the clan. <laughs> uh, Miley Cyrus talking about it.
All right, here we go. Looks like Banana Man trying to make their way into zone. This is a tough push up this rock. Soy sauce. Oh, he's backing up. Never mind. He said nope. <laughs> That's right. Nah, I can Madison is now shrinking. <laughs> wow, his teammates are climbing up. What good teammates. He better have some heals for him. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see what he drops for his teammates. Judge him. What is he stretching? What's, what's, what's Brady doing? That was a long, long climb up tower. I had to go for the stretch there, huh? <laughs> That's funny. All right, here we go. Havoc meeting up with assassins. Oh, catching some third party shots from Banana Man. VIP Ryan. Thanks for the bits. Appreciate that, man. Really appreciate that. Thanks for the support. <laughs> Look at Banana Man over there. They were the ones pin dropping last game cheese, and they're funny, man. I would love to have. I wish we could do like interviews, interviews post game. That's a team I would interview after this. <laughs> I would love that, man. Treat this like NFL. Just interview them afterwards, press conference. That's what we need to do. That's what we need to start implementing. Is doing like a little interview press conference with like the first place team or. Just someone that was cheesing like Banana Man. Thank you, Chaotic. Wow, here we go. VIP just taking off some kills from TKO. Looks like they snagged King Snow. Oh, they know Brady's up there. They're focused on him. Look at him. I don't blame him. Look at Ghosty. You know his next broke right now. That's when you hit your ceiling fan from looking so far up. All right, TKO going for the pin drop. Brady looks like he's going to get shredded in there with Mossy. Wow, no, Mossy dropped him below back there in zone, but down low health. And he dies to zone. Brady Slayer, I can't imagine he makes it to the ground. Doesn't have to when you have windmill. Wow, Havoc's still over so here with Assassins. Looks like they haven't pushed all the way down on him yet. And Assassins is just kind of playing it low key. That VIP clan, nice. I'm telling you. I think their biggest threat here this game is going to be Havoc. Dealing with Havoc first. Let's see. Havoc finally pushing down on Assassin's Leyland. Last one alive. Oh, takes out Fusion. Three squads remaining. And there you go. Assassin's eliminated Havoc. Getting those kills. All right, so Banana Men pushing up. I imagine they're going to camp this rock here. I don't, I don't see them going too much further in. Got to be careful. Oh, they're picking a fight with VIP. See, this is where it could get deadly for VIP. If VIP focuses on Banana Men too much and Havoc swoops in there, it's going to be tough for them to recover Battles after the squad. And 60 seconds. Already taking shots. Let's see what they do here. They're pinched between two teams. Wow, flip side with that M60. Look at that. Taking out Soy and Zombie. Tiger Claw, last one alive for Banana Man. They're probably best off camping it out and getting some placement points. No, Flip's pushing in. He wants those kills. Look at that. M60 life. And Tiger Claw eliminated. Flip side single handedly taking him out with the M60. Let's see if he can get back to his team here. Havoc didn't push in quick enough there on the third party, so I think it's going to give VIP some time to recover. This one is now shrinking. Oh, wow. Geralty taking a headshot from Ghosty. Free haircuts. 60 kills.
There you go. Ghosty taking out Hyena. 3v2. Let's see if they can close in here and finish it up. VIP, take the dub. Just like we called out at the beginning of the game. Oh, wow, Wabez, one tap. Push it in. Geralt, see, last one alive for Havoc. Oh, they know he's in the porthole. He's jumping down on flip side. Mighty push it in. Geralt, see, not going to be able to handle the 1v1. And VIP taking the dub in the final game of tonight's lobby. Good job to VIP. I want to see their kills there, man. That was a great game for them. I mean, they had six points in the first 30 seconds of the game. That's crazy. Good job, VIP. Might be game of the night there. I mean, I mean, we saw some underdogs earlier on tonight. We saw our duo come on top with a win. That was really nice. But VIP, I mean, I think they punched the most mouths in that lobby out of all of them. Good job, VIP. Yeah, Geralt C back in comp. Definitely. Alright, let's hit refresh on these scores, see what we got in there. Okay, so it looks like we got all the scores in for our three teams. Unfortunately, VIP is not one of those teams that has their scores available. So that is a little tough. So, guys, keep an eye out on the Discord. Um, again, I, I think I missed this throughout the stream itself, but thank you again to our sponsors. Um, we appreciate you all. Be sure to check them out. Um, I'm sure you've seen them. You've probably seen their logos quite a few times on this overhang here we've had on the stream all night. Uh, but appreciate all the love and support from you guys. I believe we will be live again on s Friday. Chaotic will be doing Friday's stream here. Uh, we'll see everybody there. I'll be there in chat. So I'm sure I'll see you guys there. Again, appreciate it all. Keep an eye out on the Discord for the scores. Go ahead and see who took first place tonight. Great teams. Shout out VIP. Shout out Cosmic Vortex. You guys did great. If I missed you, it doesn't mean you're bad. It's just those guys really stood out. Good stuff, guys. We're going to go ahead and log off here. Appreciate you all. Hope everybody has a good night. Are both lobbies on Friday casted? I believe so. I think Papaya took the other one. Uh, if, it, if it is, it's either going to be Chaotic doing one and then Happy Papaya doing the other. Yeah. Absolutely. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for making the stream fun. You guys always keep it entertaining. Hope you guys have a good Wednesday night. Going to go crack one. See you guys. Oh, yes. Chaotic. Oh, man. I literally clicked end stream and then it held the click in and moved it away. We are duo shoutcasting. Chaotic and I will be duo shoutcasting uh, Friday. Yes, that is the plan. Uh, it would have happened day of, and we would have been there anyways. But there you go, guys. Another reason to tune in. Appreciate you all. Hope everybody has a good